Hi, good evening. Um, Saturday evening, 8 o'clock, and uh, I've just um, uh, finished uh, another operation uh, towards the completion of uh, a uh, TAG uh, threading uh, device, which is nothing unusual. Um, it's basically a copy of um, an article that was placed in uh, Nick Carter's uh, website, and uh, it was it was um, um, uploaded there uh, by uh, Keith Keith Brooks Keith Brooks, and um, it's basically the same. The same design as Keith uh, had on his uh, take lathe, um, but I've just added a few different features, uh, plainly because of the setup of my lathe and the counter shaft drive system. Um, I wasn't able to. Uh, follow his design uh, with a, a a plate on the back and the uh, the three eight uh, feed bar um, attached to the side of the cross slide here. So what I've done is uh, I've got my three eight bar which is down here, and I've got it running through my main block assembly block for the lathe and I have it attached underneath the carriage uh, down here you'll have, you'll you'll if you've seen the other videos the previous video uh, to this one um, it all explains it in there um, what I've done is um, to uh, today is I've actually uh, put a sleeve um, I've used half inch, let's see, let's get to something, um, I've used a, a half inch bar, aluminium bar, and I've done the same as Keith did by putting a, splat, a split nut uh, in the bottom of the bar to clamp it to the 3.8 feed rod. Um, and uh, at the moment it's over over length uh, I have to cut it off somewhere here uh, but I've got the um, the the upper hole that actually lines up with the spindle the headstock spindle and um, I've got it clamped down here at the moment tight and you'll see that um, when I move the carriage, the plate or the bar um, moves with it. And the whole idea is that um, in the collet here, you place a master thread. It doesn't matter if it's three quarter diameter or three eight diameter. Um, uh, you can choose whichever you want. Obviously, I've gone with the smaller sizes. Um, one of the sizes that I've gone with is the um, a 3816 thread, American thread. Um, that will allow me to put a 3816 master in the collet and with a 316 nut, a 38 three sorry 3816 um, nut in the in the holder. Um, it will then give me any size uh, diameter of thread with six, a pitch of 16 uh, to the inch. So that means that I will now, when it's all finished, be able to machine in the headstock a 3 quarter inch 16 pitch thread. But I'm only using a 3 8 diameter. 16 studding on at this end 
so you you don't really have to worry about the diameter of the of the the master or the diameter of the thread that you're going to cut as long as you've got the same pitch at this end that you want on your part then it could be a 3 8 uh, 16 instead of a, a 3 quarter 16 which are basically the same pitch so that's some um, my reasoning there um, uh, Keith also used uh, nuts uh, ordinary nuts that match the thread the master stud in um, and he put uh, three screws in uh, at 160 degrees 120 degrees sorry um, to hold the nut on its three of its six flats and to line up with the with the master thread that's in the collet um, the way that I'm going to go is uh, I'm going to use I'm going to uh, this half inch hole I have to open up to 5/8 I'm going to I'm going to use a standard 5/8 die that for each thread that or each pitch that I need and I can make that on the I can make that on the headstock or the lathe with uh, taps and dies ordinary taps and dies um, I'm going to keep the outside diameter uh, at 5 8 I may go to 3 quarter but 5 8 I'm, I'm thinking of and um, in that way because the centers are so accurate on this bar um, I just need to place them in a 5 8 hole with the, uh, the Lycan machine in the lathe and I don't have to worry about three screws going up at angles and so forth. Um, <clears throat> that's the that's my idea at the moment. Um, so as you can see, the lineup is is pretty good. Now that pin is a piece of mould steel and it's three thou undersized on the half inch so there's three thou um, clearance um, there's no shake there's no movement uh, so the centers are pretty good so I think that by going with the making my own dies from just from aluminium bar round bar and um, and tapping them to the different pitches then that I won't have to fiddle around with screws um, so that's how that works now the other thing is that um, uh, this 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 bar is about 15 inches long and it comes out on the other side of this block here and and attaches to the carriage underneath here um, that means that the rod is completely out of the way um, I can't see myself doing any long threads or you know single point screw cutting any long threads um, most of them are going to be short um, so um, I'm going to leave this bar, the transfer bar, I'm going to leave that on the end of the rod and because I put another split nut uh, my eyesight's not very good and it's dark, come on get old huh. there we go okay by undoing that split nut I can now move this along and I can keep this within reason sticking out here say in that position and then 
I can move my carriage along to the to the the area that I want to start the thread on my part and I can lock it up in, the, in that position and then I don't have a long bar sticking out here because I'm using this to get my distance. That's how it, it normally works. That's how Keith's uh, system works I believe. Um, so that in, in other words it, it keeps everything underneath out of the way and this is not sticking out here somewhere. Um, so that is how that's going to work. Okay. Um, I put this extra bush in this bottom hole here because I was a bit concerned about the thickness of this and, and flex. And there is a little bit of flex, obviously. Um, let's see if I can... There's some flex, look. You can see it. it's flexing. But I'm only going to be taking uh, fine cuts. I'm, I'm not going to be taking a, a, a 20 thou cut on the thread. So um, I'm going to use it within its tolerance uh, and it should work. Uh, the thread will be on the master here so that will give it more support up this end. Um, so that's as far as I've got at the moment. Um, my next operation is going to be up at this end. Um, I'm going to I'm going to uh, put this plate on the mill and I'm going to open up that hole now. I'll dial it in first and then I'll bore it through with a boring bar on the mill and open it up to 5.8 uh, in that area. And then I can make up five, six, uh, half inch uh, round plugs with, with the pitch threads uh, m machined in by taps, uh, standard taps, and uh, then all I have to do is just place it in there with some kind of a locking screw to keep it. Uh, I might even put a, I might even put a wedge in there. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I might put a key in there. Um, so uh, that's going to be my next operation is cutting that off to length and um, opening up the hole to 5.8 and then I'm going to put a plate, a thin plate on the, attach that to this face here um, so that when there's a stop, like a, a it's like a, a stepped hole. Uh, in other words, you, you put it in and, and the, the, uh, uh, the master nut will push up against the face and, and line everything up. So I'll put a plate here and uh, probably just attach it with uh, a smaller hole in the middle, maybe half inch. Um, and, um, and drill and tap right the way through so that if I ever need to turn this plate around for some reason, I can take that plate off of this face and attach it to this face if I have to turn that round. So there you are um, at the moment. This this thing is working really nice. Um, I'm thinking about measurement, uh, depth measurement, and um, uh, I'm thinking that maybe I, I I haven't got any engraving on there. Um, that would be nice. Maybe I should put a uh, inch uh, engraving uh, in sixteenths, maybe all the way along, so that I can get an idea of my depth. I believe that some um, takes, or somebody said, that one revolution of the rack is somewhere around 0.6 in distance. So that gives me another indication but it would be nice to have some kind of a index on the on the quill or the barrel 
and uh, that way I'd have some idea of how deep I'm going. So I'll call off now. Um, I don't think I can give you any more information. It's coming along. Um, maybe um, sometime next week I'll be in the process of demonstrating cutting a, say, uh, a three-quarter inch diameter by 16 thread pitch uh, to see if I can make up some kind of a mandrel uh, for one of the chucks that fits on the on the spindle nose. So that's it at the moment and uh, I'll call off now and if uh, uh, I notice that I've had about 80 I've had about 80 uh, views Yeah, I noticed that I've had uh, I've had about 80 views uh, on my last video, and I don't get a lot of um, of uh, hands up or likes. Uh, but I noticed that in this last video or last two videos, I've got about 80 80 views, and I've got like two hands up or two likes. Um, I just it would be it would be nice to know that that people are appreciating uh, some of my work so if you want to give me a like or hands up uh, if you can think about it um, if you enjoy it and if you like it it uh, it just gives me some feedback that uh, uh, 80 people are, are just clicking on it and looking at it the first couple of minutes and then uh, and then closing closing the video down so if you wouldn't mind I'd appreciate it and uh, so anyway uh, that's enough of that so I'm gonna call off and thanks for watching bye